here's a little review on front panel programming an older Yesu FT 8800 or 8900. This is an 8800, but the front panel programming for the 800, the 8900 is the same. So let's put in a uh, duplex pair for a repeater system on VHF. So you take the keypad on the mic, punch in your frequency, You have to always punch in the uh, full six characters. Even if you're only <coughs> using, like, say it's 146.9, you still have to punch in the zero, zero. Or like here, nine, four, you still have to punch in the zero to make it go complete. Notice that it automatically puts the offset in there for you. Not all radios do this. So you have to remember the offset if your radio doesn't automatically do it for you. And a lot of people get confused with what is which way do you go for the offset on two meters. Easy to remember. If it's 147, if the megahertz is 147, the offset is positive plus. 147 is higher than 146 or 145. So think of that way as plus. And um, 147 is plus. Just say it over and over and over again. 147 is plus. 147 is plus. Don't think about the other two. Just 147 is plus. So I just put in a 146 frequency in there. If I had to put the offset in there, I know 147 is plus. 146 is not plus, so there's only one other choice. So there's the minus. But to keep from being confused, just remember 147 is plus. Okay, we have our frequency in there. Yesu puts the offset in there on many of their radios. I know ICOM and Kenwood do also on most models. Uh, commercial radios do not. And the Bofangs and other Chinese radios, I don't know enough about to know if they do or not. Okay, next thing we need to do is put a PL tone in there. So. On the Yesus, FT8800, 8900, and I believe on most of the newer Yesus also, you have to go into the menus. Whoops, there we go. <laughs> and you have to scroll up to, this is automatically set because I, or set because I last used it for that. But you have to scroll through the numbers, menu numbers up above C3839. And uh, there's your tone frequency. Menu number 40 is tone frequency. Push the upper button, and there's 100 hertz. Let's pretend that we need 123.0. So you just turn the knob up to 123.0, push the knob again, push the center here, and you're set. Now we have a PL tone set in there, but we're not going to transmit the tone because we have not activated the tone encoder decoder system. So back to here, we have to go, I think it's memory, there we go, uh, tone mode, no, number 41 on the 8800, 8900. And then we have to push the upper button here and here's our choices, off, encode, ENC for encode. That means it's going to give you PL tone encoding only, and that's where you want to be for most repeater systems. Some repeaters do encode the tone also, and if that be the case, you may want to set, up, set it up to encode and decode if you know the repeater also encodes and you want to use that feature. If that be the case, just go to ENCDEC, encode, decode. And then if it's a uh, digital coded squelch, commonly known as DPL, then you want to go to the DCS mode. So we'll just go back here to encode, push the button there, and now push the center button there. And we are ready to go. We are ready to talk on a 146.940 repeater with the 123.0 uh, tone. And set to go, that's all there is to it. UHF. The procedure is the same. 
Let's go to four, four, eight, six, two, five, just to pick a frequency off the top of my head. Notice that Yesu puts the uh, offset in there for you. <clears throat> the rest of the procedure for the PL would be the same as on VHF there. But let's talk about the offsets for UHF, the 440 to 450 band. Real simple arithmetic tells you which way to go. If the frequency is above, if the receive frequency you're programming in there is above 445, well, if you add 5 to that, it's going to put you above 450, out of the band completely. So that doesn't work, so you, def you know you need a, uh, a minus. If the frequency you're punching in is below 445, if you have a minus, it's going to put you still in the amateur band, but it'll be below the 440 to 450 band. I mean, yeah, 440 to 50 band. And so you'll know you need to use a plus. Real simple on that. So there's a quick, a quick rundown on front panel programming your FT8800, FT8900. <clears throat> and it'll be very similar on most of the uh, most rigs out there. Just... Uh, Read the uh, owner's manual to find out exactly what steps to take, but what you have to put in there has been explained here. Hope that helps some of you guys out there. 7-3.